praise god praise god this is prophetess deanna dixon so um i just came out of the post office right um fix my collar i just came out of the post office right and check this out so i'm in the post office and i see i look to the end of the line where i heard from the end of the line oh you stupid this and that this and that so it was what happened is it would first of all it's full it's always full at this location all right so second of all what ended up happening is that um a Caucasian guy cut in front of a black older lady. So these are two older people, right? They start fussing. Now she's on the phone with her daughter, okay? So what happened is she said, I'm in line, sir. And he said, don't be rude. Anyway, I'm not going to go to all that. But they just started fussing back and forth. And it was crazy because these people were elderly, and they were fussing. She calling them stupid. And the daughter on the phone saying, oh, you want me to come up there? Blah, blah, blah. You, you understand. So I painted the picture. Okay. So then I'm not going to lie. Y'all know, if you don't know a prophetess, then you better learn prophetess. I, don't, I ain't scared of nothing. I don't even care. And whatever happened, happened. God got it. I just holler. I say, peace be still. Hallelujah. I feel a pop. Peace be still. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. But, but peace was still. So then. As I'm listening to this, I'm like, God, oh, what's going on? He said, that's the same thing was happening all over the world. Listen to me. That's I'm in the car. I got to do errands, but I got I had to do this. God said, you got to do this video. But I knew I knew what it was because I've been calling it out for months, actually years. It is the spirit of anger and rage right now, y'all. I'm going to say it again. It's the spirit of anger and rage. I'm going to say that third time. It's the spirit of anger and rage. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke you as a prophet of God. I rebuke every spirit of anger. I rebuke every spirit of rage because they come hand in hand. I rebuke that spirit that's trying to kill still God's people or even people in general. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. So I decree and declare to be so that when you see situations happening, you won't be scared. You ain't got to approach because you got to use wisdom. But start speaking to that thing. I rebuke it. Peace be still. Just like Jesus did when, when the waters, you know, when, when they was on the storm in the boat. What happened? What happened? All of them. Jesus sleeping. They, they, you care not we perish? He just said, he said, peace be still. And I don't know if he went back to sleep, but I would have. We're not speaking to those things. We're not speaking to their situations, God say. God say it's too much going on. In your city, in your town, in your state, ride around and speak. Because guess what? I'm getting ready. I, I'm, I'm rolling. And while I'm rolling, I'm going to be praying. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that these streets are safe. In the name of Jesus, I, I speak to the air. I know you're the prince of the air, but, you, but you're not in power. Come on, somebody. God has the power. It's time for us to speak this thing. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. The devil does not have more power than God. I'm going to say that again. The devil does not have more power than God. I'm going to say that again. The devil does not have more power power than God. God is the God of all things. God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Decree and declare it in your city. Decree and declare it in your town. Enough is enough, said God. Remnants stand up. Quit trying to just get rich. Quit trying to just have a nice house, a nice car. Y'all get on my nerve anyway. All y'all too. That's right. I'm after y'all too. So busy trying to build your kingdom and God's people perishing because we're not speaking. You heard me. That's our mandate. I said it in the other video. I met our first mandate. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Where is the kingdom? The kingdom supposed to be brought down on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. It's time for us to be about our father's business. Some people looked at me like I was crazy. I said, I'm a believer. I'm going to speak to that thing. And that's when another girl, she said, I come into agreement with you. Nobody playing. And I, I'm not ashamed. And I ain't scared. I don't care where I go, what I do. I'm going to speak to those devils. I ain't playing. Because I know the power. I know the power of God is real. And God says, speak to that thing. Speak to it. Cast it out. And I wasn't being disrespectful to these older people. Don't get it twisted. But I was speaking, peace be still. I didn't, I didn't talk crazy. I spoke the word of God. I'm going to say it again. The word of God. That's what needs to go out in the atmosphere in this hour. 
We're atmosphere shifters. Everywhere we go, everywhere you walk, we're supposed to change the atmosphere. That's why people don't like me. That's devilish. The only people that don't like me is the devils. People of God love me, and I love y'all too. But them devils can't stand me, and frankly, the feeling is mutual. Because one of us got to go. If, I, if I'm in the area, in the atmosphere, one of us got to go, and it's not me. Hallelujah. And I'm not trying to be arrogant, baby. It's confidence in the Lord. I told y'all 22, I'm coming hard. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. It's over. Game over. Game over. Game over for these devils out here. At least where I'm at. And I hope you do the same over there. Hold on. You ain't got to be ugly. You ain't got to try to be no thug. Walk as an atmosphere shifter. Just shift it. Somebody say shift the atmosphere. Write it in the comments. Shift the atmosphere. Shift the atmosphere. Shift the atmosphere. Hold on now. <laughs> you can't do that unless you privately get with God. Fasting and praying and walking in power in this hour. We tired of entertainment. Y'all remind me of um, um, Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Because guess what? Entertainment is not doing anything for the body of Christ. So much entertainment. And that's what have happened. But God, God waking up his people in this hour. Because you've been asleep too long, God says. That, that really stirred me up, you guys. That really, that... It wasn't funny seeing two elderly people fuss over positions in a line at the post office. That's crazy. And just think if our daughter would have been, you know, got in the car and come over there. That would have been crazy. That would have been crazy, man. So all I'm saying, I'm sorry I got a little, y'all know I get hype. When it comes to God, I get hype. I'm, I stay hype. I'm already hype. I don't need nothing. I don't, this is a natural high, baby. I stay hype. I stay ready. I wish a devil would. I wish a devil would. I know what I'm packing and not lacking. Okay, somebody right there in the car, I know what I'm packing and ain't lacking. Because guess what? And I'm not trying to brag or nothing like that. I love God. I live for God. I die for God. I am in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. It's time for us to walk it like we talk it. Everybody been talking it, but I don't see you walking it. Get out. Get, get out. Get out. So start getting in your car and go around your city. And, and, and you know. But I, I'm getting ready to do a prayer summit or something. Mm -hmm. Something. Something going to shift. Mm -mm. It's, it's too much, y'all. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. And I hear God saying, my people are not decreeing and declaring. My people are not walking in power. When I gave that conference last year, because God told me to, it was called, um, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Taking back your spiritual authority. Reclaiming your spiritual authority. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's what it's all about. We've given the enemy authority. How? When you don't walk in yours. All right, I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to be, um, when I'm going to do my um, errands, I'm going to be speaking to this atmosphere. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. The people looked at like I was crazy when I say, I said it loud too. I say, peace be still. Psh. What? And they must have heard me because somebody said, all right, apostle. I said, I started to tell them, look, I'm a prophetess, but I even want to go through all that. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's all it's about, you guys. It's not about cars, and I'm not trying to knock nobody. It's not about houses. It's not about what you have. Man, stop. With all that. It's about the power of God. People are hurting out here. They dying without God. So if the church is not ministering God to the highways and byways. Then what are we doing? Ministering to each other? Because that's not working either. Should get mad if you want to. Hell, you. <laughs> not even annoying it. Get mad. Whatever. Not even doing it. Touching the unclean thing. You can't touch the unclean thing and praise God and worship God and walk in power. It just cannot be done. I tried it. That's why I could talk about it. I did everything under the sun as a Christian. I'm saying it. Y'all know I don't know. I ain't got to fake about nothing. And God said, Dan, I stopped playing with me. And I stopped after things, after he allowed a couple of things to hit me. I was like, ooh, I ain't playing with God. Because that's how it really happened. People don't get serious until God say, all right, let me take my hands off of her or him. Then when you, after you get hit a couple of times, <laughs> you'll be real good. That's why I laugh at people that, you know, try to act all big and bad and do what you... Sooner or later, you're going to get hit. And that hit going to make you to do things. Two things. Come to God or run from God. But you're you, 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 you going to learn. You can say what you want. 
You ain't got to fuss with people that don't want that don't want God, honey. Let them be. Just pray for them, cause sooner or later, after they, after they keep getting hit, they're gonna be um. Can you pray for me? <laughs> what is real like that? All right, y'all. Whoo, Lord, 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 Lord. I see it, God. And what's coming gonna really be? Y'all better get in position. It's praying time like never before. I feel it. I see it. When I saw that, all I could see in the atmosphere was the spirit of fear, anger, and rage. That's the three. Thank you, Lord. Fear, anger, and rage. That's a bad combination. That's a dangerous combination. But God, I'm going to say it again. But God. So I got to get going. But I'm going to be praying. That's what, that's what I challenge every last one of you to do that see this and hear this. You ain't got to get out your car if you don't want to. But I will, everywhere I get, I'm going to decree and declare I, the spirit of peace. I come against the spirit of anger and rage. I'm going to be driving with the window down, speaking in the atmosphere. What? It's real like that. So God bless you. God keep you. Be, af be atmosphere shifters. Come on, do your job. It's time to get on your job. Most of y'all have a job. <laughs> y'all, I ain't, I ain't getting into that one. Two or three jobs. You can't, you can't give God nothing. You know, and I know I'm speaking, <laughs> how, how, how do you say, Ebonics. <laughs> but I will say this. I'm so glad that God is God. And yes, he says, I have 6,000 people that haven't bowed down to Baal. And we won't. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. <clears throat>